How I can render now? I can press render here for render to disk. And for example, I can choose the range for see what's happened. If I press render to disk, it start to render, have this uh, bar. I can use the Houdini now. And it start to render and it's rendering my scene without problem. Okay, or my timeline I have here. I can pause or I can interrupt this without problem. If I interrupt, I have the error here because my render is not finished, okay? So we also we can check here and say, hey, the render is not finished, it's not working. Also I can render with template and I can render with the background. If I render to template, it's open the template for rendering. And I can launch my render here if I, for example, come here, render current render frame, I can render and play. And now it's uh, open my and play and start to render. Okay. And we see it's rendering with the light from the camera. And uh, also I have uh, the camera view, it's render. Then play is start to render and uh, usually it's very good. Also, you start to render in uh, like the uh, spiral, okay? But if you move your mouse, you can click and you can uh, also start to render some area. Now we also we can talk about that without problem. And in M play here, I can see my render. Also, I can render, for example, I can launch the render from this icon here. If I right mouse button and here I have the node the list of nodes if I can render. For example, mantra01 is my node I have here, mantra01. If I click here, it start my render. But is uh, now it's rendering by using the viewport view, okay? So it's not uh, good in this for now. You can view mantra. I have a problem, yes, it's not working because it's not fine. Or, yeah, it's fine, but it's not uh, good, my shame. And this is my render. Okay, my render is not very beautiful, it's very bad because now I have material, now I have a light. Also, there is uh, another two way for rendering inside Udini. One is uh, create the render, you have here render view. And in the render view, I have here the button of render. I have, I can choose my out is mantra01. And here I can choose my camera, for example, camera1. Here, if I click, it's open my information of camera, in this case. And here is open the information. Now it's go up, if I bring down, okay. The all information of my render element, because this is good, because sometimes uh, Maybe you don't have here the panel, you have another panel here, you can work in. And this is very comfortable because if I press render, it starts to rendering. I have some error. I don't want to take care about this. And you see also if I, if I press here, it starts rendering. And the rendering process, you see all pro process of your rendering here. Also you can, Uncheck this uh, uh, preview and it's uh, I stopped. Okay, I render and it's render. It's the final image for you without take care uh, about the uh, preview. You can see with the noise usually, but it's very comfortable use the preview for see really your effects. Another aspect more important of this element. It's uh, the auto update is active. And what's it mean? If I go, for example, on my node, for example, I come back here on the sphere, I can jump inside. If I create the color swap, and you see, I create a node and it started to rendering. If I connected, if I click here, Click here and change, for example, the color to red. It's red. Wow, I assign different color material. Yeah and no. 
Yes, because I have a different color here, but this is not properly the material inside Houdini. Okay, and here you have all information of your render with the time is uh, and the memory is taken, etc. This is very comfortable when you want to use like the preview of your material in Global Sheen, how it's working. For example, you can use that system for rendering. And here I have more control. I can find all the information here, for example, like the gamma, contrast and the brightness. I can also up the brightness and the contrast. And if I click, for example, here and here is come back to zero. And this is very comfortable because you can also check this and also here I have all the information, for example, for light color or, for example, another kind of uh, information for render channel or render pass. We can talk about this in the next time. However, here I have another way again for create the rendering for creative preview. If you want to check, for example, this color and I want to only see here the effects of my render. I can use that. That is the render region. If I click here and grab here, I have my region. It's rendering. Okay. It start rendering and now I see only the rendering here for my it's take the, the error. I don't understand why. And it's take the, the rendering only of this part and you see only this part. Also that is uh, out update. Every time you can change, for example, come here, you can change the color with the green. You see it's changed in automatically. And this is another way for create your rendering and foresee your some effects, for example, from viewport without take care about another kind of situation.